Today you will learn five DJI cold weather flying tips. And it's snowing, so let's get right to it. Hey guys, Felix here with Quadcopter Guide, and on this channel I help you get the most out of your drones and other camera gear. Uh, need I say more? <laughs> it's pretty chilly out here. I've got my Mini 2 with me, my DJI Mini 2. And today I wanted to tell you some tips and tricks which I have um, learned over the years on how to beat cold weather flying. And uh, it just started snowing, so this is going to be fun. All right, so there's a couple things to uh, think about, of course. The largest in terms of the drone is the battery. <laughs> is the battery. So lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries as are in most DJI uh, consumer drones, except the DJI Mavic Mini. They operate best between 25 and 35 degrees Celsius. And in freedom units, I'll put what that is right here. So that means that if you have the battery in your drone like this and you're sitting outside getting ready or you're driving in your cold car and the stuff is in the trunk where it's freezing, the batteries are gonna get cold. So ideally what you wanna do is keep these things warm almost hot because once you start flying the temperature of the battery will go down even a little bit sure there's a little bit of internal heat that gets generated but if you're flying in conditions near zero or below zero um, celsius or below 32 fahrenheit then you want to make these batteries a little bit warm actually before you start flying so what can you do you could put them on your heater in the car if you have a vent that blows to the top um, or just figure out a way to mount it or if you're out and about, what I usually do is I just put the batteries into one of the inside pockets. So if you've got a sweatshirt on, or you could put them in your jeans pocket. I've done that before. But make sure that you don't have any keys or paper clips or anything metal hanging out in your pocket wherever you put the batteries. Theoretically, if you were to short the battery, the DJI batteries are intelligent and nothing should happen. I'm not the kind of person that uh, wants to try to find out if the intelligent circuitry works as I expect it to. I <laughs> expect somebody else to do that for me. All right, so the best is an inside pocket. If you have a sweatshirt with a, a pouch or your jacket has an inside pocket like this one does, then storing them in there close to where your body heat gets to them is kind of the best practice. Now what I do is I store pretty much every battery that I still have to fly somewhere warm like that. If, I'm, if I have to do a short walk to get to the flying site, or if I'm driving somewhere, once I get to the location, I'll put the batteries on my person into one of these inside pockets, and that way they're kind of warm. Yes, there are more nerdy solutions. There's even these aluminum tool cases or tool chests that you can build or buy that have heating elements inside that pre-warm, they kind of bake your battery essentially. They don't get super hot, but they get warm enough where they get to that ideal temperature. So you take them out of there, you put them in your drone or your model and off you go. I haven't dove that deeply into the winter flying thing, <laughs> but I guess never say never. Okay, so your batteries are nice and toasty. You're pretty much set up. In terms of the drone itself, you could try keeping it warm, but I always worry about the lens fogging up. So if the camera is more adjusted to the outside temperatures um, like it is right now i feel like that you have less fogging issues of course if the camera were to heat up a ton internally there is a large temperature difference and based on the humidity levels of where you got the drone from and what it is outside um, that could play a role but my go-to is just keep the batteries warm and then let the drone acclimate just a little bit. You don't have to have it freezing. And of course, if there is visible moisture on the drone, you wanna make sure you'd wipe that off before you go fly. Now it did start snowing here and uh, the snow is going sideways. So I don't think I'm gonna fly the uh, Mini 2 today, but uh, what do I think it would fly? Yeah, I think it would fly just fine. The visibility is not very good and everything's just kind of gray. I'm sure I could get a couple of shots, but I decided that I'm not going to risk it today. So we've talked about what to do with the batteries. And if you care to know more about the best way to store your batteries and how to charge them and discharge them to get the most battery life out of your batteries, I did a really in-depth video for the Mavic 2 Pro series, actually. And I'll put that in a um, card up here in the corner. And I'll also <laughs> link it down below so you guys can check that out. Those tips apply to all DJI Intelligent batteries, essentially. So don't worry about Mavic 2 Pro being in the title. That is still a relevant video for you today. Oh man. See, I chose to put the camera with its back to the snow. That way the lens wouldn't get snow on it. 
Well, guess what that means? It's hitting my face. All right, so you've got your drone batteries charged, your remote controller is charged, and another thing about the cold, batteries don't last as long as they would in the summer or spring or fall or for that matter warmer temperatures the batteries just don't last as long so don't expect to get the same flight time in the cold as you would in warmer climates and that goes for your smartphone too if you've got a decent wind chill and let's say your smartphone is only charged to 20 percent 25 percent and normally in the summer you can get a flight out of that no problem maybe you've got the remote controller charging your phone just always be prepared for something to give up juice. The batteries get too cold and your phone does an emergency shutdown. How would you deal with that? Do you know how to deal with that? Personally, what I would do is, hopefully the drone is visible to me because I'm flying visual line of sight and I can fly it back without issues. Just because your DJI Go app or the DJI Fly app quits does not mean that you lose control. You just lose picture of what the drone sees. So you can still fly it back as long as both things have battery, the drone and your remote controller. Now in terms of the remote control, if the remote control loses juice, I expect return to home to bring the drone back and land at the takeoff position as long as I waited to acquire enough satellites and I did the uh, compass calibration dance if I'm at a new location. If th some of that stuff sounds foreign to you, make sure you check out some more of the links down below and uh, you'll learn a little bit more about that. You kind of want to stay warm when it gets cold, your fingers don't work as well, and so what is it that you can do? Well, one thing you can do is keep your hands warm. Now, I've got a couple different gloves you guys can check out here. These are the thickest, they're also the warmest, but you don't have as good of fine control of the sticks, especially because there's seams on the gloves, you know, and this is, it's just not the same as flying without gloves. Now, what you can do is try different kinds of gloves. So. These are the gloves that I started with today, and I got these at uh, Costco. Uh, I'll link them down below so you guys can check them out on Amazon. These are kind of the thickest and warmest. Then I've got a little bit thinner ones, and these all have the kind of smartphone compatible finger, which is great for camera drones because you do have to touch the screen to change settings and stuff. So these are a little bit thinner. And then the thinnest yet, check these out. These are super thin. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that helicopter flying over at some point. These are super thin. These are actually the inner liner of some snowboard gloves or ski gloves. And so I found that these are the thinnest. They are grippy, so you can hold the remote control just fine. And they also have the kind of smartphone finger, so you don't lose out on that ability. There's nothing like having a pair of gloves and then your finger does not work on the touchscreen of your phone. And if you're flying a Mavic, you just need that. You need to be able to change settings and, you know, you gotta have the smartphone finger. So I encourage you, if you are looking for gloves, make sure that uh, the gloves are smartphone compatible. All right, so let's say you've got the perfect glove. I've also found in the States, I found some super thin gloves. They were kind of pleather and they're made for driving or I think hunting even. And so they were super thin. You could really feel the sticks with those. Um, I don't have them with me today, but that's also an option. I'll try to link something like that down below so you can check those out as well. Of course, they're not going to be warm, but, you know, when it's cold out and there's a wind chill, even just a thin layer will keep your hands warm just a little bit longer. So I have a secret weapon. <laughs> now, you know that if you keep your hands warm, then that's great for flying, but what about your core? Theory is, if you keep your core warm, then your extremities, like your fingers and toes, stay warm longer before they start getting ice cold. Of course, what your body does is it tries to conserve heat, so it pulls blood from the extremities, your fingers and toes, to try and keep the core as warm as possible for as long as possible. Now, check this out. Oh, sorry about the mic noise, guys. So, check this out. This here, I've been quite toasty, I must say. <laughs> and the reason for that is check this out this is a heated vest let me try to put my jacket somewhere so it doesn't get all snowy ladies and gentlemen let me introduce you to my heated vest this is a Akaso heated vest they were kind enough to send this to me to check out so full disclosure I did receive this item to test and I'm super happy with it there are four zones in this thing here let me try to back up a little bit there's four zones in this of heating elements built into the vest. So there's one panel right here, one right here to keep kind of your belly area warm. And then there's wires connecting the other areas. And there's one 
in your mid back area, mid to lower back. And then there's actually a and there's multiple modes. I'll do some B-roll shots of this. So you got the two buttons here, one for back and one for front. And you just tap and hold to turn it on, eh, kind of like the DJI drones. And then you've got three options. It starts with red, tap it again, it goes to white, tap it again, it goes to blue. And here's the temperature ranges which the manufacturer gives for what, this, what level of heat this provides. And uh, under this other jacket, I just had it on blue, just to keep me nice and toasty. And with an, uh, with an outer layer like this, if you're just standing around, you can, you know, do red or white to kind of get it warmed up. And then you can turn it down because I've had this thing, I've been testing this for a while, and I've had this thing on red. And uh, I actually got too toasty at times. So if you're doing activities where it's not very strenuous and you're not sweating, then something like this, I think, is just perfect. And it is machine washable. The first thing I did before testing this is I wanted to make sure that if someone like you um, gets a vest like this, I wanted to make sure that you could wash it because what good would a vest like this be if A, you can't wash it after you first get it? And of course, after you use it quite a bit and it gets dirty, maybe you spill something on it, you wanna be able to wash it and make sure it works afterwards. So I followed the instructions on the label, tossed it in the washing machine, washed it, and then I didn't dry it. I took it out and I hung it. And within a day or two, this thing was dry. So with this vest and maybe another layer on top, I could totally fly the drones no problem. So drone batteries the drone itself your hands and your core are warm now what if you're flying something that isn't a camera drone where you don't have to actually touch the smartphone you've got a couple more options for you or i guess if you are flying a camera drone you could modify these or just use them as is as well check this out this is called a transmitter glove you put your transmitter in there your hands go in from the sides and it's kind of protected by this material and it's got that thin, clear PVC plastic coating on top so you can see what you're doing and also have a little bit more room for your fingers to control the sticks and to move the sticks. Now these are quite affordable and I've got them linked down below if you wanna check them out. Now these things work great for FPV style flying because you don't have a smartphone attached and it's a little bit more, I don't know, not compact, the remotes are a little bit bigger, but these are kind of made for that kind of remote. Would it work with a Mavic style remote? I think so. Just try different things. You could either cut a little slot for the smartphone to stick out the top or just get everything inside to fit with the smartphone as the remotes are a little bit more compact than the larger FPV style remotes. I have yet to buy one of these, but this is the one I'm looking at getting. It was sold out everywhere before the holidays, so I didn't order it yet, but this is the one I'm looking at. Check this out. This is a transmitter glove, but there's heating elements on the inside. Just like that heating aluminum case to preheat your batteries, these are similar elements on the inside you put in a 3s lipo in this thing and the panels warm up and heat your hands as you're flying now how cool is that you got your hands in there they're nice and toasty you've got your dji mavic remote or your dji fpv transmitter or even a third party transmitter in there and this thing heats up your hands definitely no gloves required unless you're flying in really really cold conditions you got your heated vest or something to keep your core warm once again gloves no gloves and yeah that is my tips for you on how to beat the cold weather. There's a saying in Germany, there's no bad weather, just ill-prepared or improper clothing. I'll have to show you guys the sheep that are behind you guys right now. They're kind of hanging out in the snow. They look kind of fluffy. I'm sure they're nice and toasty. All right, so what do you guys think? What do you think about those five DJI cold weather flying tips? Let me know what you have found to work for you. Let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to get into a great conversation with you guys. What do you do? What do you do when it's cold out? Let me know. Can't wait to try some of those things and see what you guys usually do. Oh man, it is snowing quite uh, strongly now. So I guess we'll wrap this up. Hey, check out some of these other videos. I've got two options here for you. Check out your favorite. And of course, for the DJI FPV drone rumors and leaks, make sure you stay tuned to the channel. All right, guys, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.